Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host, Ugo, and today I'm going to be smoking the CAO Arcania Moro Coil in a 6 and an 8 by 50 Toro. And this cigar is comprised of a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper over Connecticut shade binder over Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Dominican Piloto and Andulo fillers. The Andulo Dominican filler is fermented using the ancient method of rolling the tobacco leaves in a coil, hence the name Moro Coil. Those are wrapped in palm tree leaves and then wrapped tightly with ropes. Then they are rooted into the ground where they are left to ferment, causing them to have that rich, almost sweet aroma. All right, let's take a closer look at this wrapper, which is a rich Maduro color wrapper. And it's a bit toothy, a bit grainy, semi-oily. You can see a little bit of a sheen on it. Feels nice and packed. One thing I do want to point out is that on the foot there, you can see that middle portion. Um, it seems like that's the Andulo filler, which uh, seems to be really tightly wound there. The aromas coming off of the wrapper are very earthy. Almost like a damp rag, if you may, and a bit of sweetness. So I heard you gotta take uh, quite a bit off of the cap on this one, so I'm gonna be using the uh, straight cut. All right, let's go ahead and test the draw. Oh wow, wide open draw. All right, let's go ahead and light her up. All right, the draw immediately came uh, a little bit tight, snug. Uh, there's just some rich, bold tobacco. Um, it's very bitter, almost like a, like a bitter coffee. Uh, moderate pepper on the palate, a little bit stinging in the back of the mouth. The Retro is very enjoyable, very tolerable, about a three or four out of 10. You can see the oils that are sheening off of the uh, wrapper there from the heat. Uh, earthy uh, undertones. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, smoke it down. That's the first third. And I'll be back for an update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the first third of this Moro Coil. Just approaching the band there. And as you can see, the band is also wound in an angle, representing the coil uh, of the fermentation process. The ash is nice and white, and it just dropped before the steak and still lots of smoke.
The band is purposely placed in this method so you can easily unwound it as so. It's a long band. And it comes off in one piece, coiled up. So yeah, the first third, um, just bold pepper, earthy notes. On the retro hail, uh, also the earth is manifesting itself in the lighter note, along with some nutty notes. The retro hail is still about three or four out of 10. There was a small segment or, uh, in the middle of the first third where the strength kind of diminished, but then it went back up. So yeah, overall, it's a, so far it's full flavored, full bodied. Definitely need a, a, a big meal before uh, lighting up this stick. So let me keep smoking this down to the second third and I'll be back for an update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the second third of this mortal coil. As you can see, the burn line is a bit wonky, but it's still holding up. The ash is nice and white. I did have to touch it up twice though. Um, still producing lots of smoke. One thing I did forget to mention about this uh, cigar, it's a limited production stick. Only 5,000 units were um, were brought out. So if you're into uh, this stick, if you like my review, go out and get yourself a five pack or whatever. Um, the notes on the second third, um, now it's calmed down a little bit, um, getting like a, a fig sweetness and still some earth on the main notes. On the retro, just uh, moderate pepper and almond. Um, the retro hell is it's actually more tolerable now. It's about a two or three out of ten. Yeah, it's a nice little stick. Um, it burns very, very, uh, very consistent and very slow. I did have to put it down a few, a few times for a few minutes, and it came back and it just uh, puffed right away. So, uh, good, good production, good construction. So, let me keep uh, smoking this down to the end as far as I can. I'll be back for my last update and my closing thoughts on this mortar coil. Welcome back. I'm at the end of this mortar coil. As you can see, the burn line fixed itself rather nicely. No touch-ups this time. The ash just dropped before this take, but it's still nice and white and stacked, as you can see, and still producing lots of smoke. So the smoke has been very chewy throughout the whole stick, um, very consistent nice ash uh, the flavor notes now on this last third are very dark woody notes on the retro I'm getting lots of leather and almond so yeah not bad for a limited production stick um, the, it's been burning for about an hour and 20 minutes now the price point on this cigar is pretty much a, a 12 to 13 dollar stick if you buy a single five pack or a 20 count box. So for this stick, the rating today is going to be a five pack worthy. It's a little bit bold for my taste, but it's a, I, I would say it's a nice evening stick. Um, I wouldn't mind smoking it again after a nice dinner. So yeah, if you've had this stick, go ahead and comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Like always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.